All right, guys, so we're back for this. We did the previous trailer, but they came out with the final trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine. Let's get right into it. I know I turn everything into a joke, but I care. Or I want to use that for something important. Oh, shoot, hold up. By the way, we're going to be pausing around just to avoid copyright. I forget if... I don't think the original trailer, though, hit me with copyright, but... I, I don't know. I can't tell the soundtrack, but um, there's some things here, by the way. Um, okay, we'll, we'll talk I about it later. That for something important. I waited a long time for this team up. In my world, you're well regarded. You were an X-Man. Fuck that, you were the X-Man. The Wolverine. He's a hero in my world. Yeah, well, he ain't shit in mine. Yeah, that's it right there. That's 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 the music. Um, okay. Well, interesting. This guy used to beg me to wear this suit. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm just gonna bring down the volume. <laughs> oh my word. Beast. But I couldn't have him thinking I wanted to be there. It was too late. Dear God. Yeah, that I think that was a flashback. People, but my entire world is right here in this picture. Okay, you want to know something that's really weird, by the way? I've watched a lot of the Wolverine movies, if not almost every single one. Strangely enough, though, for me, I don't remember, like, anything from those movies i don't even remember anything from logan that's uh, i don't know i have no idea how to save it alone but you you know how to save him who's that chick again whoever you think i am you got the wrong guy is that his? You're... Mm, that, no. No, man. Listen, they could have found a much more attractive chick for whoever the frick this is. I, I, I just... I am so sick and tired of modern Hollywood casting choices. I mean, remember when um that Percy Jackson movie... Okay, a bunch of films. I mean, there was even a point where, uh, who was that chick who played Katniss Everdeen? Uh, shoot. Ah. Anyway, <laughs> that one chick. <laughs> whoever, whoever the frick she was. Listen, she was decently attractive for that film, okay? There was a point in time where a bunch of women were attractive for the roles that they were hired for, and now, like, women, they, they all look freaking washed up. All the casting choices. Why is it always the men who look more attractive? Where's our Jessica Alba's, our Megan Fox's, Diora Baird's? Remember Percy Jackson with Alexandra Daddario, who I definitely wanted to smash in super hard. The freaking first time I ever saw her. Anyways, but then you've got, um, ah, uh, shoot, what was that one, uh, dystopian film? It was like, you have four life paths, and, oh, shoot, and they escaped at the end, and they were on a train, and blah, blah, blah. I forget what it's called, but anyways, there was an attractive chick for that film, too. Anyways, the point is, once upon a time, attractive women were everywhere. If someone was put on screen, they were to be attractive. Now... Now, we make up a bunch of excuses to make everybody average, ugly, below average, uh, bottom of the barrel, whatever it is, okay? Um, attractive people are just not the forefront any longer, unless it's a man. Okay. Okay. So, I, I don't know. Someone says that this is X-23 or something like that. Okay. You were always the wrong guy. Until you weren't. And this is the thing I cannot stand with freaking modern storytelling, modern heroes, everything. Right now, I want you to realize something with me, okay? And I said this in the previous, the past video, the trailer reaction. Listen, man, we were going through an era, 
right? For a long time, the building up of the hero. Oh my God, hold up. And other attractive women too, by the way. The chick that uh, Tony Stark got with uh, in the first film, right? The first Iron Man film, Scarlett Johansson. We can go down a long list where women just used to be bottom line attractive, even if they didn't have huge breasts and they were whatever. They were thin and they were tra attractive and also white, okay? For some reason, we can't have attractive white women anymore. I, for some reason, I don't know why, but here we are. So, apparently attractive white women shouldn't be hired for these roles anymore. I can't stand this. But anyway, as I was saying though, we were going through an age of building up the hero, the becoming of the hero. We were going through film after film after film. Hero, hero, hero. We're building up the hero. We're going through the birth. We were in an era of birthing the hero. And what did we do? What did we do? Right? You know what we did. And uh, by the way, for some reason, I'm just right now thinking of the X-Men spoof that had Carmen Electra playing as Mystique. Holy freaking crap. That woman was freaking sexy and amazing freaking boobs. Anyways, now we're living through the death of the hero. And by the way, Carmen Electra is a massive hard on. Just the second you look at that freaking woman, you're like, dang. This is why men all throughout history, this is why they procreated. She was also in that spoof movie. By the way, spoof movies are just, I don't know, something happened to them. They're no longer around because, you know, sexy women, they're not allowed to be in anything anymore. But she was in that one uh, Spartan movie. I don't, I forget what it was called, but she was also sexy in that. Listen, Carmen Electra is just sexy in everything. So anyways, outside, oh, and Jenny McCarthy, uh, of course, she's also sexy. And she was in a bunch of spoof movies. So anyways, we were going through a great era of sexy women and that's completely over now but we went through the era of birthing giving birth to the hero now what are we living through we are now living through the death of the hero everything is dreary everything is morose everything is nihilistic everything is give up it's over okay that's what our stories are today and all i see here is give up it's over that's what the characters resemble i don't know why they have to think this way i don't know why this is their resolution um and you know what, man? Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna say it. You know, we're not hiring the right freaking people for this stuff. That's the simple truth. I mean, what the frick are we doing? We're, we don't have visionaries any longer for storytelling. You have so many men out there who can make a. Fi okay, I, 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 by the way, not everyone's a good storyteller. Most people are not good storytellers. What I'm saying here, though, is that there's enough men out there. Okay, there's like at least five dudes that are not being hired for freaking making great stories. We could be having great stories today, but there's a reason why we don't have great storytelling. And right now we're seeing it here. There's a reason for this. They're just refusing to hire the right people and for the longest time. And yes, you know, things about Hollywood and Disney and all this stuff is freaking nepotism to the highest degree, the highest level. It's not how talented you are. It's who the frick you know. And were you born into the family that's working in this field? That's all it comes down to. It's not actually who is right for the job and who can actually make something that moves an entire audience. Because you know what I'm experiencing right now? I'm watching this film i'm watching this trailer here and i'm like you could be doing this you could be doing that you could be having a story geared and wired this way you could maintain this same spirit of this trailer but this could still be a great story but all i get out of this is in the past trailers it's dreary it's morose it's nihilistic listen we're just we're not hiring the right people now now here let me say let me tell you this this is better than everything else we're getting. And I think these guys, I've seen some interviews between uh, the director, Ryan Reynolds, and Hugh Jackman. They're actually passionate about this. They actually seem to love what they're doing. So at least there's that. But again, that, that, does, that doesn't look over the fact that everything that we're looking at today, this could all be better than what it is, than what we're being given. Again, though, these guys are basically the top of their freaking field at this point. You go oh, with anybody else, and it's just way worse. It's it's not even laughable at this point. It's just disappointing, man. 
Are you ready? Fuck yeah, I'm ready. Okay. I'm the Wolverine. Stop it. it. It's it's oh my gosh! Please don't hit me with the copyright, please. Um. Okay, so like, you know, what do I think? I think that the humor is all right. You know, Ryan Reynolds' humor largely works. I guess it, it does. You know, I mean. It's uh, also white guy humor. I mean, if it were black guy, he would actually be shooting at the freaking mirror. He'd be like, kapow, at the freaking mirror. But, and, you know, and, and also shooting down the car door while you're inside the vehicle, because that's just, that's how uh, uh, black writing and black uh, spirit soul music goes. Anyways, so, you know, uh, let's, let's go back through this. So, okay, we're going to mute this yeah. trash. So, okay, yeah, I know I turned everything into a joke. Uh, Semi-attractive chick. She's pretty, uh, uh, she's decently attractive. I wouldn't go for her first. I would definitely be going for freaking Carmen Electra first. But, and Alexandra Daddario and Kate Upton when she was hot. And Megan Fox and Jessica Alba. Anyways, but you know, I, like, something I get out of these trailers, I'm not really seeing a lot out of this. I'm not, like, really that impressed. The Wolverine films, though, they were great. Holy crap. I barely remember anything from them, but they were great still. Hugh Jackman is a great Wolverine. Great casting choice. Um, again, oh my gosh, I can't stand this with modern writing. Right here. Right here. They do this all the time. This weird, like, ethereal force is basically an androgynous blob. That's all it is. Literally nothing else. It, it literally means nothing else. It's just some weird ethereal being that I, it, it, it might as well be AI the enemy, right? There's no ego behind this. There's no identity. There's nothing that defines this smoke blob that is going to destroy all of mankind? Question mark. Yeah, it's just so uninspired, man. I guess it's kind of Mad Max-ish. Yeah, she's breaking into his head. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds talking about that these are the only people that mean anything to me. Those random bozos in the photo. I don't really know how I, what I think about the fact that we have... Uh, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what I exactly think about the fact that you know what? I don't even know what I think. Genuine. I don't, this doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> I mean, just looking at it. Okay, the thing I was about to say is that I don't know how I feel about there being a multiple universes of different heroes. It's like, okay, so they can just die and randomly come back. Okay. That's, it's kind of stupid. Uh, like, uh, so... <laughs> does that mean we can just have, like, five Wolverines fight each other? I... I don't know, man. It, it, it just gets kind of ridiculous at some point. I don't know who the frick this chick is. I really, I don't get it. Um, she could be way more attractive. Love of God. We could, there, bro, there used to be so many chicks that were freaking bombshells. Um, I forget what, uh, oh, what the F. This just looks so gay. I guess it's supposed to be a joke. I think this is something in the comics, I guess. Whatever. It's gay. Um, but I remember chicks like... Wasn't she in the Vampire Diaries? A chick named, I think it's Melanie Iglesias? She was freaking hot. Super smoke show hot chick. Um, and this chick, I mean, like, when I look at who do I think X23 or whoever the frick this chick is supposed to be, when I think of this, I think of, like, you should be hiring a chick that looks like Melanie Iglesias, not... I think that's her name. I'll look it up. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, you should be hiring chicks like that. Just some sexy chick. But yeah, whatever. We can't get that anymore. Love of God. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't really know what I think about. I'm just not interested. Nothing really looks that inspired. Everything looks kind of generic or soulless. 
And that's everything that we're getting nowadays. Again, this is the best that we're going to get for a long time. This is the best that we've gotten for the last couple of years. Okay. What's coming out soon? I, I like, is this a film I would maybe go watch? Yeah. I would maybe watch this. But I never really cared about watching Deadpool. I never watched any of the movies. I mean, I, I think I watched the second one. I think I watched the first one. I don't even remember though anything from it. I think I did sit down though to watch Deadpool 2, but I don't I don't remember anything. So whatever. Um I I don't know, man. What what does any of this stuff mean anymore? I just I can't tell. Nah man. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna freaking say it. I'm just gonna freaking say it. At this point. And by the way, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, they look great for their roles. Uh, Hugh Jackman still looks freaking chiseled. Chad and chiseled. He looks great. Uh, he still looks like Wolverine. I mean, seriously, good on that guy. He continues to work out and everything. It's just very commendable. I mean, the, the, by the way, these two guys, this is what every man in America should look like right here. I don't know what the frick we're doing. Why are most men not looking like Ryan Reynolds and uh, Wolverine, Hugh Jackman? And this is just the simple fact, man. Like, go look a couple, not that many generations ago, like two generations ago, three. Everyone's become obese. Everyone's become fat, lazy, pathetic to look at. Go look at men from just a couple of years ago. Uh, go look at the 1930s Germany guys. Look at those dudes. Just look at what old American, German, men, a bunch of different men. Look at what they used to look like. They used to be freaking thin. They used to be freaking well built. Nowadays, men, they look terrible. I don't know what's happening, but they all look flubby, tubby. It's horrible. None of them have any muscle. Um... They don't look like they take care of themselves at all. It's like, what are we doing, bro? What are we? The, what, what the frick is going on? Again, for so many generations, men used to be in good shape. But now, so many men are just out of shape. They're so unhealthy. And maybe uh, too many fried foods. I mean, like too much fried chicken. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm like coming up with ideas. I have no idea. I mean, I don't know. I, I, honestly, I don't know. But... Whatever it comes down to, men don't look like this, and I'm just gonna say it, man. If you look like you're freaking obese, just just freaking get on roids and just look like this. I love it, guy. Like it's better to die looking like this than to live looking like freaking uh, Where's Waldo, the fat version, the fat version of Where's Waldo. It's terrible, and I don't know what most men are aspiring towards. But they need to aspire towards actually something because right now most men they look like they aspire towards the kitchen okay where women belong that's where they're going now so i don't know what's going on with modern men it's really pathetic and it makes me sad it actually makes me sad and i feel i mean it's pathetic and i just i i feel sorry for the present state of men it's like gosh dang it guys get it the frick together we we you get, get freaking chad and chiseled like freaking hugh jackman and ryan reynolds but instead i mean again like Obviously, Ryan, he's not as built out as Hugh Jackman. And I just think it's because Ryan, he has a more slim build as a guy. Um, if you've ever seen Ryan, he just looks like he has a thinner frame. Because he, he, he can also get pretty well built. But again, he has a thinner frame than a guy like Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman's a little bit larger of a guy, just slightly. So, I mean, what the frick, bro? Again... Yo, modern American men, they, they've got to get it the frick together because this is getting pathetic. And of course, modern American women are also crazily obese. The last numbers I looked at, women are leading men on obesity. Okay, as I speak, let's just run this trash. Um, but yeah, man, and, and it, that's a funny joke, by the way, by Deadpool. The Spider-Man web slinging. Okay, funny. I mean, that chick, she's attractive, by the way. She, again, she's not my my style or my type. I mean, I'm down bad for chicks like Jessica Alba. But again, like we see some attractive people kind of in this a little bit. But again, it's just it's so pathetic when we're looking at it. The fact that whatever's happened to modern men 
and modern women in America. It's just so pathetic. And again, when uh, the last time I was checking, modern women, and it, oh my gosh, and just go look back at these old X-Men films. All the women are freaking thin. They're all in shape. And it's just, again, women are leading in obesity on men, but a lot of people are just getting obese in general. And it's like, what the frick is going on, man? Let's get it the frick together. Because for so many generations, you know, you go back to 1950s and before then, of course, and it's just everybody was freaking thin. Everyone was in shape. And some people were starving, whatever. It's better to be starving, though, than freaking being obese and gluttonous. Again, freaking starving. Starving is not freaking uh, one of the seven deadly sins. No, it's freaking gluttony, okay, man? Gotta keep. I don't know. Everyone forgot that gluttony is a freaking deadly sin. And you have all these modern people, they want to completely pursue after gluttony. I don't know what the frick they're thinking. I don't know what the frick got into their freaking minds. But nowadays, people, they just refuse to be freaking thin, okay? And now you have all these people, they're getting on freaking Ozempic and stuff like that. They're trying to cheat their way towards getting in shape. What the frick are we doing? What the frick are we doing, bro? Get the freaking shape. Stop overeating. Again, ugh. I, I can't, I, I just can't believe that we've gotten to this point. It's so pathetic. People look so freaking run down. And again, you, you just, you look at people and what they looked like not that long ago. You look at what past generations were. I guess that's her when she grew up. So is that his daughter? Oh, is that the same actress, but she's grown up now? I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, um, I, I guess it is his daughter. When she, uh, the chick right here, wherever she's at. Okay, well, anyways, it's just, you have people, they're trying to cheat around being freaking in shape. And you just, you look at so many people from older generations and um, they didn't look too good when they got older. That's for sure. I mean, I think a lot, a lot of people nowadays, they age a whole lot better now than they did in the past. In the past, holy crap, that was rough. A lot of people, they looked really rough pretty quick but at least they were still in shape at least they were healthy nowadays everyone's fat and even though some people i mean there's a lot of people they don't look too good when they get older but still a lot of people though man it's still i mean they're all fat and it's like what the frick are we doing because regardless of everything regardless of all these random other factors being mentioned here july 26th by the way so that's coming out soon i'm not watching it because i'm really not that interested but Anyways, just past generations, they just looked better. And they looked like they actually took care of themselves. And nowadays, I don't know what the frick's going on. Am I excited for this film? Um, no. I, I really, I, quite frankly, I'm just not. I'm not that interested. I, I'm so burnt out on movies and storytelling in general. Now, let me tell you something. If I wrote this movie, if I made this film, would I be excited for this yes i would be and, and it's just that simple okay really right now modern day a lot of writers today they're not making good stories they're not making stories that grabs you draws you to the freaking seat there's so many stories i remember watching for a long time that came out nowadays like 10 15 years ago now they were so good i mean I remember seeing this one war film. It's not Dunkirk. It's, it's something else. But man, it was freaking good. It was a really good film. I forget what it was, but it was this w war film, kind of like Dunkirk. I don't know what, what it was called. Was it, was, it, was it Gettysburg? No. Anyways, it was, a, uh, it was a film, though, where nobody spoke throughout the film, as I remember. I think they didn't speak, or at least for the majority of the film. But, you know, stories used to have this spiritual essence, spiritual vessel to themselves. And nowadays, we don't have that. And stories used to have something to tell. They used to be so about something, about men overcoming these certain odds and these huge trials and tribulations, these struggles, and overcoming them. Or they die, and there's something that you get as a lesson out of their death. Nowadays, we don't have that. And I don't know, man, I just look at modern storytelling, right? We don't have beautiful women everywhere. We don't have men, masculine men, doing difficult things, being masculine. I mean, nowadays, most men are freaking nerds. And I have a video coming out on this. 
nerds are freaking simps. They're freaking cucks. They're freaking losers. A lot of men, they want to refer to themselves as nerds or they want to be nerd adjacent. But when you look at these guys, they think that they're literally synonymous with women. They don't think that they're completely different from women. And they think that if they play on the playground, that women should be playing the same game as them. No, listen, you as a man, if you're playing football with other women, the women are just going to get freaking destroyed. Same thing with basketball. Every time you bring women into the same game as a man, any games that men are playing and women are brought in, you always have to level down the game. You have to lower down the freaking hoop. You have to do whatever it is. Harvard, for instance, used to be what? Completely male-dominated. Only men went to Harvard. Why do you think today now you have women going to Harvard? Why do you think that is? It's because, of course, when men play a game and they involve women, they have to lower the bar. And Harvard went from 100% or 99% it was of male attendance. And I don't know what it is today. I know that in other universities, women are now overscaling men, right? It's either 60% or 80% women to men. That is bad. But, you know... Harvard now has women in it because they lowered the standards. So this is what we're looking at. And it wasn't enough, by the way, when women made their own Harvard adjacent. I, uh, I forget what it was called, but it never took off. And it didn't do well. And it didn't have any accolades. And they complained about, of course, bigotry and exclusion and discrimination and they're saying bring us in bring us into harvard stop it oh my gosh this is wrong and evil the feminists of that time uh in that adjacent that rivaling female harvard and so they pressured harvard to bring in women of course they lowered the standards and nowadays you're seeing we're living in a world as a result of that anyways um, now you're seeing that in movies, you're seeing that in Hollywood, you're seeing that in everything today. Am I interested in this? No. If I made this story myself, would I actually be interested? Yes. And this is the best thing that we're going to get for a long time. So I understand people, some people are excited for it. And I understand that. By the way, Wolverine, Hugh Jackman, his outfit looks amazing in this. It really does look good. And apparently this is the OG outfit for Wolverine, so good on them for making a really good outfit for Wolverine. I mean, seriously, it looks freaking good. This is such a great outfit. I really do love it. Um, they, they did such a great job on uh, right here. Nope, right here. On the Wolverine outfit. Man, it looks good, man. That is a good outfit. And of course, the Deadpool outfit's great too. So, at least they did that well. But I'm just not interested in the story. It, again, and we don't have to go much longer on this. Is that a rainbow colored thing over? Oh my gosh.